Hey everyone, welcome to this series on hand calculations. Today I'm going to be introducing the TMR formalism, which is also referred to as the isocentric method of dose calculation. So let's just jump right in and display the equation right now. So this is the equation for the TMR formalism, the isocentric method of dose calculation. So please take a minute to pause the video and uh, briefly look over all these terms. So I'm just going to pop up some of the definitions here. So DREF is your reference dose per monitor unit established during Linac calibration. MU is your number of monitor units. TMR is the tissue maximum ratio for the given depth and the field size at depth. Uh, SCRC is your collimator scatter factor defined at the isocenter. Uh, SP is your phantom scatter factor for the blocked field size defined at the depth of calculation. You have your wedge factor, which is a function of the given depth, the field size at depth, and your off-axis distance. You may also have a tray factor, an off-axis ratio, which depends on the depth and the off-axis distance. And then you also uh, may need an inverse square correction as well. Uh, so it's once again, it's very important to understand you know, what each of these terms represent, what it's doing in the calculation, uh, because it's important to really uh, fundamentally understand what's going on with this equation and why everything makes sense. So once again, I want to kind of draw out what's happening. So here is the reference condition shown on the top left here. We know that the accelerator is giving one centigrade per MU at this point at whatever your calibration distance field size and SSD is. Now with an isocentric calculation, we're actually going to move the calculation point up to the isocenter. So instead of being at the reference SSD, we are just shifting that point to the isocenter so that it is at the source to axis distance. And that is typically done using an inverse square correction. And then after that, we can adjust our field size with the collimator scatter factor. So with that factor, we're accounting for the differential amount of scatter that is emanating from the collimators in the flattening filter. And then we can go ahead and place any blocks or tertiary uh, MLC shaping we might have, which is accounted for with the phantom scatter factor, which is shown here. You have that smaller field size that's defined by some tertiary blocking. And then we can go ahead and actually change the depth of our calculation, making sure that our calculation point is still at the isocenter. And we account for uh, that new depth with the tissue maximum ratio for the given field size at depth and uh, the treatment depth of D. And this is kind of the workflow with an isocentric dose calculation. And of course, we might have some other factors that we might need to account for if we have a wedge or a tray. Uh, but generally, this is kind of the workflow that we're dealing with. And that is the introduction to the TMR formalism. And I will post some example problems in uh, some separate videos. So stay tuned for those.